Lucky 13 producers bring you to love or not to love. That is the ultimate question. Bringing you this production are Amanda Ellie, Anthony Semple, Brandon Zuli, Jade Ramos, Orzimon Kodiev, and Stephanie Eide. Look out for the characters of to love or not to love. You'll learn to love or not to love them. Our first character on stage is John. John is a dedicated manager that really values and follows the four functions of management. To John, following these four functions really helped him to get into the position he's at now. Along with following the four functions, he has also adopted the leadership role as a manager. John chose this role because he really felt like it fit his loving and caring personality, which in turn allowed him to develop excellent interpersonal skills amongst his employees. Overall, John is an ambitious extrovert who is both creative and innovative. His analytical and critical skills led him into the People's Financial Company. He works hard for the company and is a very productive individual. Right now, he is facing an ethical dilemma of dating within the workplace as he currently likes a woman under his employ. Next up is Rachel. Rachel harnesses a brilliant academic mind and shows to be a gifted student in almost every subject that she studied in the past. This characteristic allows her to possess excellent conceptual and technical skills that will benefit her in the workplace. Even though Rachel isn't a manager, she has great planning and organizational skills that really show in her job performance. Rachel is an extremely extroverted individual that always gets her job done. She is the first woman analyst in the financial analyst department. Rachel starts to grow feelings for John as she continues her employment at the firm. Next on stage, we have James. James is our man to watch. James started his working experience at the age of 15. He is married to a wonderful woman and absolutely loves his small family. In the People's Financial Company, he has a decent authority that gives him a right to regulate smaller tasks. James has very strong conceptual skills, giving him a great position within the company with a good amount of room to grow. He is quite intelligent and a bit on the introverted side, but he makes a good financial analysis. He is good friends with John, but is unsure how to handle John's dilemma. Along with James comes Sarah. Sarah is James' wife and is a good and loyal advisor to him. She is a consultant for the company and is a mix between introverted and extroverted. She can work both ways. She possesses excellent technical and interpersonal skills, which is great for her job. Also, she is great when it comes to making moral decisions that tends to help her husband in this show. And last but not least is Jennifer. She just may end it all. Jennifer is the human resources manager. She is very much the extrovert and has a resource allocator role which fits her position well. She is a rational decision maker, a must for her field. She has great interpersonal and issue solving skills and is very serious about solving ethical dilemmas. We now introduce the summary of a show that some will love, some will hate, but all will be captivated by in the end. To Love or Not to Love is a TV show based on a company called People's Financial located in downtown Tampa and some of its employees. Everything may seem fine in the financial analyst department as an all-male team. However, once an attractive, intelligent female is the newest addition to the team, the financial analyst department goes downhill. The manager of the department is associated in unethical behaviors, and his best friend has to decide if he should rat the manager out or stay true to his friendship. Throughout the TV show, many managerial concepts are discussed in regards to decision-making processes, ethics, and human resource controls. The show's target audience is young adults ranging from the ages of 18 to 30, as they would be most entertained by the romance, drama, and concepts learned that they can apply to their own lives. And now the moment you have all been waiting for, to love or not to love, episode outlines and concepts. Now everyone, turn on your television to episode one. People's Financial is a financial services company located in downtown Tampa. John, an ambitious analytical extrovert, is hired to work in a financial analyst department. 
The setting starts off as John's first day of work for the company and his new higher orientation. Jennifer, the manager of the Human Resources Department, is running the orientation. At the orientation, the company goes over its values of planning, organizing, directing, and controlling scenarios and departments to success for the company. During a break at the orientation, John meets James, an intelligent introvert that will be working in the same department. They instantly click and their close friendship begins that day. After the break, Jennifer discusses the skills it takes for someone to become a leader slash manager of the company. John knew that he possesses these skills and it was his goal to become a manager of the department. After this, the episode can change to three years later and introduce Rachel, a gorgeous, outgoing, and hard worker that is entering into the all-male department. This will also show John and his current position as manager. In episode one, we cover two main concepts. First, we have the four functions of management. What do managers do? This is, this is found on pages 10 through 13. For this concept, Jennifer discusses the importance of planning, organizing, directing, and controlling to the new hires, as those are key functions to the success of the company. The second concept is the skills managers need, which is found on pages 19 through 20. In this concept, Jennifer discusses the skills needed to become a leader and or manager of the company to the new hires. Episode two is where it all begins. Since Rachel is new to the team, John delegates time for the other co-workers to train her. Along with other co-workers training her, John takes time to implement ethics training as ethics is very important to this company. He discusses ethics at work and at an individual level. He also discusses how he rewards ethical behaviors. After Rachel is fully trained, John gives Rachel a small project to work on. Rachel goes over the alternatives of how to complete this project and chooses the one that takes less time on her end, but still completes it. John then goes over the project with her. As these two work together, they get to know one another more and realize all the similarities they share. This is when a romantic spark ignites and they go on their first couple of dates. However, the secret may not be that secretive, as Jane, John's close friend and co-worker, is starting to notice favoritism John shows to Rachel. Episode 2 concepts are as follows. Managerial folklore of a manager has no regular duties to perform. John helps to train Rachel just like the other employees had to. Also, he assisted her with a small project that all other employees would usually work on. The next concept is managerial ethics, found on page 29. John trains Rachel on ethics and discusses how he rewards ethical behaviors to the team. The last concept is founded rationality found on page 327. Rachel chooses an alternative for her small assignment that takes less time, but still gets the project done. Episode three, the plot thickens. The board of directors for People's Financial wants to add a new policy to the company's code of ethics. The new policy that they want to add is no, deba no dating in the same department. To add to this rule, the company needs acceptance from all departments. As manager, John has a meeting with his department to discuss this new rule and the benefits that come from it. In order for this process to be successful, John has identified problems, develop objectives, create alternatives, have the department analyze alternatives, have the team select the alternative they want, discuss a decision to the board of directors, implement the decision, and then monitor the results. The department agrees to add to this new policy and John shares this news to the board of directors. The company then implements the new policy in the Code of Ethics. Even though John agrees on this new rule, he decides to secretly go against it because of his relationship with Rachel. They have already gone on multiple dates, and Rachel agrees to go along with the secret as well. As the plot thickens, so does the concepts. The first concept of episode 3 is Code of Ethical Conduct, found on pages 43 to 44. The company wants to add a no dating in the same department policy to their code of ethics. The second concept is classical decision making model, found on page 333. John uses this model when leading the department to decide on the new policy for the code of ethics. Episode 4, The Confession. After work one evening, John has dinner with his close friend and co-worker James. 
At this dinner, John decides to open up to James about his relationship with Rachel and trusts him to keep the secret. James already had a pretty good idea that this was happening, as John started to dis distance himself more from James and showed favoritism towards Rachel. Even though James is very happy for John, he has to make a decision on whether he should meet with Jennifer, the human resources manager, to tell her about John going against a new rule in the Code of Ethics. After the dinner, James vents his situation to his wife, Sarah, as he's unsure of what to do. He has factors that are disrupting his accurate problem analysis, such as his information bias towards John and stress about their friendship. Sarah tells James that it is the right thing to do is to confess the secret to the human resources department. She tells him that if John is that great of a friend, he should understand and not let his decision come between them. James decides that the next day he will go to Jennifer as it's the right and fair decision to make. Here are episode four concepts. The first concept is factors that hamper accurate problem identification and analysis found on page 337. James is having an issue analyzing the problem with John because he is stressed that he will lose his friendship and his information bias towards John. That is until Sarah makes him realize the right decision to make. The second concept is moral rights approach found on page 31. Sarah helps James to make the decision that the right and moral thing to do in John's dilemma is to report this unethical conduct to human resources. Episode five, the end or is it? James meets with Jennifer to discuss the secret relationship of John and Rachel. Jennifer encourages James that even though he is close friends with John, he made the right decision that is best for him and the rest of the department. Jennifer confronts both John and Rachel to evaluate the situation. She gives them the option of one of them switching departments. If they do not follow through on this option, they could both end up with both of them being fired. John and Rachel both understand that what they were doing was wrong and will fix the problem. Rachel finds another position in the billing department that she switches to. John apologizes to not only James, but his ent entire department about his wrongdoing. John says he will, he will never go against the code of ethics again and will focus on what's best for the team. John promotes James to assistant manager of the department as a reward for his ethical behavior. Even though Rachel and John are now in separate departments, it doesn't separate the romantic relationship and they are still very happily seeing each other. The end to the concepts, or is it? The first concept is whistleblower, found on page 48. James is a whistleblower in John's situation as he discloses unethical behavior to Jennifer, the manager of the Human Resources Department. The second concept is reward and recognition, found on page 48. John rewards James for his ethical behavior by promoting him to assistant manager of the department. The last concept is human resource policies and procedures, found on page 400. As manager of the human resources department, Jennifer follows through on their policies and procedures on how to handle the situation with John and Rachel. She meets with them to discuss and evaluate their unethical dilemma and the option they have to save them from losing their jobs. In this TV show, we cover some of the following themes. Managerial ethics, bounded rationality, code of ethical conduct, whistleblowing, human resources policies and procedures, and the classical decision-making model. Last but not least, the group contributions. Who has done what? Everyone has met to the best of their abilities based on all of our schedules. Everyone has contributed to the past assignments by taking individual tasks to put milestones, design challenges, and this presentation together. Who will do what? We delegate according to our schedules. We take into consideration that some of our weeks are busier than others, so whoever has time to assist with assignments do. Everyone will be assigned to an episode where they will have to create an actual, more detailed script for our final presentation. Some that are better with drawing or designing will help in the creation of the actual episodes. Stay tuned for the full TV show coming soon to television sets near you.